Ryan Gander is an English artist, born in Chester, who lives and works between London and Suffolk. He is a disabled conceptual artist who works with a wide range of materials. Early life and education, Gander was born in Chester, northwest England, in 1976. He trained in interactive art at Manchester Metropolitan University, receiving a first-class degree in 1999. After art school, he went to work in a carpet shop in Chester. In 2000 he spent a year at the Jan van Eyck Academy in Maastricht, Netherlands, as a fine art research participant. Then he participated in the artist's residency program of the Ribs Academy van Beeld in Kunsten in Amsterdam from 2001 to 2002. Work His work is formally diverse and has included, a chess set, a new word, a children's book, jewellery, customised sportswear, glass or paperweights and maps, as well as photography, films, and drawings. Considering Gander a Euro unregistered trademark S work, appendix, art critic Mark Beasley said, eat a Euro unregistered trademark S and unwieldy yet fascinatingly open account, somewhat like lucid dreaming, which shows the artist at his most arch, open and revealing. An attempt to discuss practice in a form sympathetic to the work in discussion. As revealed in a recent culture show documentary on BBC television about his practice, most of Gander's art is completely removed from the hand of the artist and carried out by a team of technical specialists. He is often physically incapable of carrying out the making of the work himself. Equals disability related works equals, Gander is a wheelchair user with a long-term physical disability. His work for the 2011 Venice Biennale exhibition featured an action figure-sized sculpture that represents him while he falls from a wheelchair. It is a self-portrait in the worst possible position. Additionally, Gander a Euro unregistered trademark s experiences as a disabled artist often make their way into his pieces. In 2006, his installation at the old White Chapel Library, is this guilt in you too? Where he filled the space with obstacles, detritus, dead ends, and illusions meant to confound visitors and symbolize the inequitable difficulties faced by the disabled was part of the Art Council's Adjustments exhibitions whose aim was to address transitional thinking on disability, equality and inclusion. His other works are normally not related to disabilities. However, Matthew Hicks argues in his commentary about Gander's work, that his disability actually contributes to Gander's unique way of seeing, the first thing I ever noticed about Ryan was that he uses a wheelchair. I mention this not in passing, nor as a gratuitous aside. Whilst I accept that some people might argue that this information is irrelevant, I would like to think that the fact that Ryan uses a wheelchair does, at least, have some bearing on my subsequent understanding of his work. Equals teaching equals, Gander teaches at institutions that include Goldsmiths and the Royal Academy in London, and the University of Huddersfield. In 2013, Gander and creative consultant Simon Turnbull proposed plans to open Fairfield International, a residency for young artists in Saxmundham in Suffolk, Eastern England. Equals critical response equals. A Euro Oe Ryan Gander is a storyteller, a teller of Talisa Euro. A Euro Oe his art is an attempt to see beyond the internal art referent, to hug an idea so tightly that its innards are squeezed onto the walls a Euro. The work of London-based artist Ryan Gander is multifaceted, ranging through installation, sculpture, intervention, writing and performative lecturing Euro. A Euro Oe Ryan Gander's practice involves a lot of playful puzzles, cultural collisions and meter versions of reality a Euro. A Euro Oe humor underpins much of Gander a Euro unregistered trademark s work, rescuing it from mere institutional critique, engaging us with its deadpan, self-deprecating knowingness. It is as rigorous as it is strangely, accessible a Euro. Ryan Gander has been awarded numerous prestigious prizes, among others the Tsar One Quarter Rich Art Prize, the ABN AMRO Art Prize ABN AMRO Kunstbridge, the Bar St. Louis Prize of the Art Basel and the Dutch Prix de Rome for Sculpture. He was nominated for the Bex Futures Prize in 2005. Works, Loose Associations Lecture 1.1, 1 .1, 2002, Loose Associations Lecture 2.1, 2 2003, this consequence, 2005, A Future Lorem Ipsum, 
2006, Didacti's Necklace, 2006, My Family Before Maine, 2006, The Neon Series, Several Neon Works, 2006 A Euro 2011, As It Presents Itself A Euro Somewhere Vague, 2008, A Sheet of Paper On Which I Was About To Draw, As It Slipped From My Table And Fell To The Floor, 2008, Degar Ballerina Series, Several Bronze Sculptures, 2008 A Euro 2011, Man on a Bridge, 2008, The New New Alphabet, 2008 Associative Template Series, Number 1 A Euro Number 31, 2009, The Happy Prince, 2010, The Book of A Euro The Sitting A Euro Unregistered Trademark, 2009, FTT, FT, FTT, FTT, FFTTT, FTT or somewhere between a modern representation of how a contemporary gesture came into being, an illustration of the physicality of an argument, 2010. Exhibitions, from 2002-03, early presentations of Gander's work were in the form of lectures which he delivered to the public in many venues, Loose Associations Lecture 1.1 feet and Loose Associations Lecture 2.1 feet. These encapsulated his position as an interactive artist. Gander's recent solo exhibitions include The Happy Prince for the Public Out Fund in New York, USA in 2010 and more recently Now Theory a Euro Unregistered Trademark S Not Enough of It to Go Around, Amsterdam, Netherlands and FTT, FT, FTT, FTT, FFTTT, FTT, or somewhere between a modern representation of how a contemporary gesture came into being an illustration of the physicality of an argument between Theo and Piat regarding the dynamic aspect of the diagonal line and attempting to produce a chroma key set for a hundred cinematic scenes at Tara Nasu Gallery, Tokyo, Japan. In 2011, Gander's solo exhibitions include Palais de Tokyo, Paris, Museo Tomeo, Mexico City, House Constructive, Zurich, Solomon A. Guggenheim Museum, New York, the Stiedelage Museum Bureau, Amsterdam. MUMOK, Vienna and the Wattis Institute for Contemporary Arts, San Francisco. He has also shown in group exhibitions such as the Shanghai Biennale. Documenta 13, Castle. Biennale di Venezia, Venice. Carnegie International, Pittsburgh and the Sydney Biennial. Gander is represented by the Lisson Gallery. Public Collections. Gander A Euro Unregistered Trademark S works are included in both international public and private collections including Tate Collection, London. Museum of Contemporary Art, Chicago. Museum Moderne Kunst, Vienna. Le Fonds Ra Copyright Guinal de Contemporaine du Nord Pas de Calais. FNAC, Paris, France. Cadist Art Foundation, Paris, France. Mumbo, Bologna. Museum Boymans van Buningen, Rotterdam. Arts Council, London. Welsh Museum, Cardiff. Government Art Collection, London. Personal Life, Gander is married to the director of the Limoncello Gallery, Rebecca May Marston, with whom he has a daughter. References. External links, official website.